Okay, quite a simple video today. I just want to do a one arm handstand. So kick to one arm on the strong side on my right side. Um, stool to press, come back up. Uh, one arm on the left hand side. My stool to press is strong, so I've got the strength to do it. Uh, I've got the flexibility to do it. Um, I've just got uh, not very good active flexibility in the straddle position. So my heels tend to um, catch or slide. Um, so I really need to work on that active straddle hold position. Um, most people who are working towards the stool to press need to be doing eccentric presses or partial ranges or combination of both. Um, I'll link at the end another video that I've done. Um, I mainly use it for clients and then I refer them to a specific um, technique or drill, what they're stuck on for the um, stool to press. But I'll link it at the end of the video um, showing some different variations of ways you can train the stool to press because that's, that's a very common uh, goal for most people that get into hand balancing. Actually, first, let's just show you where I am cold, flexibility-wise, for straddle. So cold flexibility straddle is not too bad for me now. Um, I definitely need to work on that active flex. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where I started. So I don't know, what, six years ago, I think this is from. Um, so I was very tight through the hips. Um, I'm still tight through the glutes and parts of the hips that are restricting me on certain movements like the rest and squat and tuck handstand and stuff is still tight through my hips um, so I need to work on those but most people just need to spend more time in the straddle position so just whack some cushions under your butt if you're, if you're tight and uh, sit watch TV in that position um, obviously there's lots of cool drills and exercises and I, I prescribe uh, loaded stretching um, and different variations of um, straddle stretching but the biggest thing is just spend time there every day um, don't do it to the point where you're you're crying and it's like uh, screaming um, just passively just spend time there and then active ranges um, so um, open and closing the hip is really important as well it's just like simple straddle good morning straddle ups um, even forward folding and open and closing just make sure you open the hip all the way and close the hip um, get really comfortable with that so prerequisite to start working on the stool to press is I'd say definitely have a, um, a strong straddle press to handstand first. Um, ideally hitting doubles. Uh, be able to float the toes on the second one. So when you come down on the second rep, just be able to kiss the toe to the floor and come back up again without putting a lot of weight through it. Right, so now I'm going to try that eccentric stool and you'll see what I mean about the heels will probably uh, touch the floor. So that's what I need to work on to try and clean it up. continue warming up my stool to press I'm gonna can uh, and then go into some one arm prep work and then try and do the sequence so kick to one arm on the right hand side stool to press um, hold on the left hand side nice and simple just keep everything straddled today